This is your good old boy, Lapidary Dave. And today, I'm gonna make this quick live video about the Gunther multi-drilling system. Gunther Drilling is a company, I believe, based out of Germany, but they do have a, like, they, they work out of Tucson, Arizona as well. Long story short, this is the best tool that I own for drilling hard gemstones fast and clean. Essentially what this is, is a chuck that goes into the chuck of a drill press. Sometimes these are referred to as water swivels. However, most water swivels on the market will actually um, be larger for doing different types of coring and such. And then the proprietary chuck goes to a water hose into the wall. Mine was a lot longer, but it broke. I've drilled thousands of stones with this. We're gonna work on some stuff that I already have to do commission-wise. Um, they do sell a version of this that um, comes with it, the, the multi-drilling system built into a drill press. And the drill press is very high quality. It's a little bit more money, but it's totally worth it. How you doing, everybody? Um, to get the best results out of the Gunther multi-drilling system, I'll take it out for you folks really quick. You want to put the uh, multi-drilling system into the best tr um, drill press that you can afford. Right now, I am using a skill drill press. This is good enough, but far from the best. Um, you can also adjust the speeds of these. There is some information, perhaps online, on what speed you should be drilling what stones with. In my experience, uh, I think I have it at one of the fastest, and it's totally fine for me. Um, some people like to attach the watering system over here to like a hand pump, like the same stuff that they spray with pesticides. Uh, and that works out really well too. But I'm going to show you, uh, give you a little demo of this since I'm already having to do it anyway. And I just really wanted to say thank you to Gunther for sending me all of these burrs. It was a big blessing and I really, really appreciate you. Before our beloved sweet Jim passed away, we were working with trying to work with Gunther, uh, which, you know, was taking time to communicate with the fine gentleman who runs it in uh, Tucson to then talk to the folks in Germany. So don't know if that's going to happen, but thank you, Gunther, anyway, for sending these bits. They are fantastic. You know I love you. We've been I've been making videos of their product almost as long as they've been making videos themselves. Um, yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about it. I kind of just want to show you folks a, a demonstration before we get into it more. The other beauty of the Gunther drilling system is that it has a counterpart here. So when we start to drill into the stone, we only go about halfway and put it upside down on the magnetic counterpart. This way, the hole meets up really nicely. You don't get any blowout from the back. You get a nice, clean, and precise hole done very fast. I have a little bit of work I have to do for Kayla Duffy before she comes down here. She wants these donuts um, with holes for earrings. I guess like the fish scene, like the jam band. They're really into red donuts, believe it or not. <laughs> Then I have a whole bunch of these composite trees she wants to make Christmas ornaments out of. And I uh, don't know how these are going to stand up because of the layering. You know, it's as strong as the glue. But before we do any of that, I'm going to drill this super hard and tough piece of lavic um, agate from Southern California, where a lot of my good friends live. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the water and we'll get started and we'll chat a little bit more about some of the finer points in a little bit. Thank you everybody for joining me here in chat. I'm sorry if I missed any of your message messages. I'm just trying to uh, do the best I can with describing this as fast as I can before it gets too cold out here. <laughs> so you can see the water coming through this uh, bit here. I did forget to mention something very important. Half of the beauty 
of the Gunther drilling system is this uh, ejector pin. While it's coring, this injector pin keeps it from caking up and breaking the burr. Um, I feel like that's what destroys a lot of burrs outside of um, just the diamond getting wiped out. These are sintered bits. Uh, the threading is proprietary, and it does have a spring, which helps the injector pin to push out the cores. I don't see any here, but usually I'll have hundreds of cores all over the deck of my drill press. I uh, don't see any right now because it's been out in the rain and the snow. Go figure. In between drilling every hole, we want to drill a whetstone. These um, go through multi-drilling systems, and I do believe the Gunther that comes with the drill press built in, with the, with the Gunther built into the drill press, does come with a white type of whetstone. I don't know if that's like a aluminum oxide or whatever kind of bar, whatever kind of whetstone but i just use stuff that i find at the dollar store and it works perfectly fine this is one evening of drilling <laughs> and believe it or not this is probably less than an hour's worth of drilling each one is at least one hole sometimes you can get away with two depending on the materials all right enough said i'm going to go ahead and drill this and we'll talk a little bit more drill through the whetstone all the way through then we drill about halfway. Take it out. You can see our core right here. Nice, beautiful core. Super clean. Put it back onto the counterpart here. If I can find the hole. You can see it's hanging out there. Now we finish the drilling. Total time drilling, that was probably about maybe five seconds outside of me showing off the core and such. Fast, clean hole every time. They do say you get about 300 bits. Um, when I take care of this and I am cleaning it and truing it up every time, I've even gotten more. On one of my bits that uh, I wore out to the nub, I probably got close to a thousand holes, no joke. But expect between 100 and 300. When I was getting started and I was drilling um, stones that didn't take coring very well. I only got about, I don't know, 20, 30 holes per bit until I found out that um, this type of drilling system isn't good for every stone. In fact, I tried to drill a cheap piece of stabilized turquoise one time and my bit exploded the very first time because it caked up it went around the injector pan, heated it up, and exploded. So put it this way. Anything that is um, too hard to drill by hand is pretty much perfect for the Gunther drilling system. This drills agate, quartz, jade, like butter. As fast as you can pull that hand piece down on your drill press is as fast as it's going to drill. But I would avoid softer stones like chrysocolas, um, malachites, some cheap stabilized turquoise, uh, let's say like lapidolites, and really mineralized stones. However, I have done those stones on the Gunther when I needed a precise hole. You just really take your time. You do some pump drilling, making sure that the water's coming through and it's not clogged. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so the hardness of the stone really does matter. But then again, that's why I bought this. I didn't have a hard time drilling turquoise by hand at any size hole. It's always been the agates and the jades. And we did that in like five seconds. <sighs> Let me get this in the sunlight so you folks can see just how clean the hole is. I wanted to make this video for maybe four years now. I, I love my Gunther. Um... I'm leaving to Florida tomorrow, so I won't be able to be doing, well, I don't, if I can get into this lapidary club, maybe I'll do some lives from there, but uh, I just want you guys to get one of these. I feel like this is one of my my most important pieces of kit. When I bought this, it was about $290. Right now, it's just under $500, and it it's still worth every penny. If, if, I, ha if I broke mine and I had to buy another one, I would spend $1,000. Well, um, when I do drilling, I usually charge, oh, five, 
well, depending on how many holes I do, I can, I do between three and seven dollars a hole. When I first bought this Gunther multi drilling system, I was uh, I got a commission to do five thousand crystals at um, five dollars a hole, and so it's definitely paid for itself. I broke maybe five bits because I was still learning, and it was totally worth it. Yep, I'm staying in Florida through Christmas. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm missing so many comments, folks. I'm just, since, since I want this to be a video that people can look back on as a resource for this Gunther tool, uh, I, I didn't spend a lot of time saying hi, but I do love you all, and I really appreciate you being here while I'm making this live. Oh, hey, my friend. I love Iraq. I'd love to visit Iraq sometime. All right, so we're gonna drill a bunch of these trees. I'm gonna try to avoid the, well, I guess I kind of have to. I'm sure she doesn't want the whole way too low. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm gonna switch burrs. Right now I have 2.5 millimeter, which comes with this um, Gunther drilling system. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put in this 1.5 millimeter, which is closer to what one would use um, for beading. 2.5 millimeter, in my opinion, is too large for beading holes. Uh, if you have the wire, you kind of need certain kind of spacers and rounded burrs to hide the fact that um, the hole is so big and it's a little, little boring for me. So uh, I prefer, oh, really down to point eight millimeters to about 1.5 what we're doing here however since this is a smaller hole less water is coming through we need to put in more patience we need to take more of time when we're drilling smaller holes <laughs> i was really intimidated by 1.5 and one millimeter gunther bits when i first started because i exploded um my burr on the very first piece of turquoise i tried to drill and Kevin from Gunther really inspired me to just suck it up buttercup and give it another shot. And he made me drill my own earrings that I was making out of Bumblebee Jasper for Linny. And it worked out fine. Again, um, the better the drill press, the better the outcome. Like, look at my... <laughs> Besides that, you could just tell it's not 100% true. Uh, because of the frame rate of the camera, it even looks worse on camera than it is in real life. But <laughs> I used a Harbor Freight drill press after, um, well, that was my first drill press. I didn't have a lot of money. This is being a little stubborn. Actually, I, don't, I think I can just take it off like this. Yeah, there we go. We're switching out the counterparts. Obviously, because we want a nice clean hole. Then one thing I like to do is bring it down and make sure that everything matches up down there. And it does. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, even though we're not working directly with Gunther and they kind of just sent us a nice care package, if anybody gets a Gunther, it helps so much, so much if you let Kevin know and the fine folks at Gunther America that... Uh, Maybe my video inspired you to buy one of these. I know hundreds of people have definitely shouted me out um, to the good Gunther people, and that's just total blessing. Like, I don't expect anything from anybody, um, but just having that relationship in the industry with these folks is just really awesome, and it opens new doors for me, and it lets me share more things with you. So now we got the 1.5 millimeter bit on. Just like the 2.5, we do want to drill a whetstone. I'm going to take a little bit more time. Again, uh, the 1.5 is kind of intimidating to me because of how, less, how much less water is actually coming through here. So this is fluoride I'm attempting to drill. All right, great example. See how the water's not coming out as much as it was before? That's because it's caked up. I'm happy we did this. It's good, this is a good example. The water is coming through a bit, but it is a little bit dangerous to the burr. So when this happens, and this can happen with any grit, especially with, I mean, any size hole, especially when you're working with smaller ones or softer materials, you kind of just, what I do is I just take like my 
pair of pliers and pop it through. And you'll know you're through when you can see the injector pin on the other side. So uh, we're gonna be very, very careful. I'm probably gonna do the rest off camera just because I need to be very careful. I don't wanna ruin my 1.5 millimeter burr. For good measure, I'll go ahead and drill the whetstone again. <laughs> this drill press is so old and so ratchet from living outside. We go all the way through. See the water's coming out nice again. Uh, we drilled this enough to put it on the injector pin. Now we're gonna continue to drill, taking our time with the softer material. Do a little bit of pump drilling. And we did it. I mean, even though we took more time to drill this hole, that's still faster than uh, most people would be able to drill by hand and it's cleaner, the hole is nice and straight. Let's go ahead and do one of these donuts, which to me are a little bit less intimidating because of how hard they are. Again, this um, drilling system drills harder materials easier than uh, softer materials because it's not caking up. This is a piece of iron stone or something like that. I don't know much about it. I know it was like probably a dollar from the gem show. And we just do a little taste and we're out. All right, one more thing to mention. Sometimes you'll see that the core is stuck in there. You don't really wanna to attempt to re-drill that because um, it's gonna be hard to get that precise and you could scratch up the side of your stone. So what I do is I either use my nail like I did right there and break it off. Or sometimes I take a pair of pliers that I usually keep on hand for switching out burrs and I just knock that off. And we did that very easily and we're putting it upside down. I hope Kayla's watching because I'm gonna make her buy me dinner for drilling these. <laughs> make sure that we drilled it enough. I should have went a little bit farther, but we're they're pretty good. Now when I come back down, I did not like the way that jumped. Yeah, that's not good. And uh, that's because of my cheap drill press. So I'm going to... <laughs> it cracks me up every time. Even when I'm by myself, it cracks me up. Yeah, I thought, yeah, that's awesome, Kayla. I didn't know you were really watching. All right, I'm gonna go back to the same hole and it kinda will become like a pilot hole, you know, and keep it nice and straight. I kinda just drill it far enough to where it can sit out by itself like that. Now we can go back. And we are done. We're doing tiny holes. That's why it's taking a little bit longer than the 2.5 millimeter we did in the beginning. If anybody is just now watching and want to see how fast you can really go on holes that are slightly larger, check out the beginning of the video. But uh, yeah, I'll do a couple more of these uh, on camera. And then I'm going to get off camera so that I can focus. I only have one of these 2.5 millimeter burrs. Um, one more thing to mention. <coughs> These sintered burrs absolutely break in. I'm not getting as much water as I'd like, so I'm going to take it apart. These burrs do break in, and you'll find that um, they do get a little bit better. There we go. It just popped out whatever was in there. They do get a little bit better at drilling as you use them. Again, if you do this right, you can take that sintered part all the way to the, um, to the base of the shaft or I guess wherever it's actually centered compared to where it's not. All right, let's do another tree. Let's do one of the trees that don't have a fluorite tip, like this little guy here kind of looks like, who knows what that is? It could be just like glue with sprinkles of dust from the rest of the uh, stuff that they were making these out of. How much were these, Caleb? Because these are kind of, it's kind of a tchotchke. But this is actually kind of impressive. Some of these have uh, are really clean, and I couldn't make those for. They're probably they're getting less than a dollar. Magic fairy dust and glue. 
Um, impressive forever how cheap these are. That's a lot of work. And I think it's going to be really awesome. I hope Kayla shares a picture of these on her tree when she's done. Come on, old girl. There we go. <laughs> My drill press is 100% allowed to break down whenever she wants to because she's, she's definitely a... Uh, She's a workhorse and she's done me very good for many years. And I was given a, uh, I was given an old craftsman. Oh, yo, I could lubricate that, couldn't I? Should I do that? I should go do that right now. I have a can of lubricant right here. Mike is not just my financial advisor and mentor. He's also uh, the common sense in my life. All right, now that my phone and myself and my drill press are thoroughly lubricated, we can get back to work. Start of our hole. Yes, Jackie, and they also make a proprietary drill press that has it built in. Is proprietary the right word? I don't know. They, they have a drill press with it built in, and um, it's a little bit more, but the drill press that it has it, that's, that has it built in is super um, substantial and true and um, dedicated drill press there we go not just my financial advisor but also my English teacher and booking agent psychologist fool is it all fool is a him and MT nutritionist here's the thing all right, we only got 20% left, so we'll try to get some more drilling in before we stop. It's just, this is actually Fools and MT's YouTube channel. We just never told you guys that uh, I'm, I'm, the, uh, I'm the actor, and they, they actually keep this shindig rolling. They're some of the loves of my life. All right. I, this is definitely breaking in. Back on the topic of hole size, Gunther does not only make different size burrs or meshes, I guess. You did, yeah, I knew it too. Um, but they also make, okay, no, they did, not only do they make different size burrs, but they make different meshes. I accidentally one time got a, this, this is 80 grit, I believe, which is kind of the standard. Um, one time I got 220 grit, which I'm like, man, this isn't drilling as fast as I'm used to. It worked just fine, but it wasn't drilling as fast as I was used to. And they're like, oh, that was for somebody else who drills faceted stones. And it leaves a nice clean hole. And what did Kevin from Gunther do? He let me keep the burr and sent me another one. Hey, it's after it's lubed up, it's working so much better now. Ugh. You guys are full and MT. They're brilliant people. Amazing artists, too. Let's do something harder for some skeptics. Uh, who might think, oh, okay, he's drilling fluorite. Not a big deal, but I promise. The fluorite's the hard part. This uh, ironstone is uh, actually a lot. How much were they, Kayla? I missed. Did Kayla say how much they cost? Because those are really impressive for the price. Now, you know, I was talking to um, Fool about how everything's too cheap in the lapidary world. 
and he and he's a hundred percent right. We just been spoiled by um, underpaid laborers for so long. But like, there's so much work into making a donut. I have three Siberian Jade donuts in there that Grandma Jean bought for maybe, I think it's thirty six dollars a piece. And um, they're totally worth it. To make one of these, you use a core bit, then another core bit, then you take a rounded bit, and uh, you kind of chamfer the insides. And then at the very least, then you tumble it. But sometimes people take it the next step and they polish it all the way. All right. We did enough to put it on the counterpart. Here's another tip. Um, since this is sloped, it's kind of pulling the bird down and it's bending a bit when it's drilling. If it does that, and you already have, your, and that'll usually happen um, after you started your counterpart hole, get enough of the hole through to put it back on the counterpart and then drill it through the same side you started with because now you already have a, um, you already have a uh, pilot hole. And this is red jasper. I'd like to see anybody, anybody drill this by hand as fast as this machine is drilling. And I'm taking my time because it'd be very embarrassing to break a bit on <laughs> here on uh, YouTube. All right, it's caked up a bit. That's something you got to realize. Don't think, oh, I just need to go another half millimeter. I need to go a quarter millimeter. No, take it off. Show some respect to your to your burst, pop it through, get the water going. So they make custom sizes a lot smaller than 1.5 millimeter, if anyone was wondering, like if you need 0.4 or something, and they do a different meshes. Um, they make bigger sizes too. I, I just don't have a problem drilling big holes, that's kind of easy for me. But if you're not very good at drilling holes, um, or even if you're great at drilling holes, buying a bigger bit for your Gunther, here's another example where we're gonna pop that little core out. Buying a bigger bit for your Gunther is worth it for the precision. Okay, this is a tricky one. So I'm gonna try to use this piece of steel right there. Ah, got it. There we go. Like if I ever got another commission, like I did, um, I'm actually gonna go a little, little bit deeper. Drilling those 5,000 crystals. All right, it's caked up. So we're gonna take it apart. Just being safe. Um, sometimes I get lazy with the 2.5 millimeter and I'll take a, an injector pin from an old burr and stick it in there and it cleans itself out so I don't have to do what I just did here. But um, it's really not too much time to, to do. Like if I had to drill 5,000 crystals again and they wanted like seven millimeter, I would totally buy a Gunther um, seven millimeter bit to do it fast and to do it clean every time. All right, we're going to do one more and then we're, I'm going to end the feed. Really want to say thank you for everybody um, who joined in on this live. I am going to keep this up as a video that hopefully makes me some money. But I, I don't do it. I'm not here for the money, you know. It became a job, but I would I do these videos out of the love of Lapidary. I want to see all of you kicking butt in the Lapidary world. Ooh, that injector pin is small. You can see here I got a piece of that really stuck in there. So I'm going to put it upside down. Pop, 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 pop. And we're popped out. Pop, 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 pop. 
Before I get going, I want to show you folks one more time how fast the 2.5 millimeter is. I've had this burr for, I don't know, eight months. One thing uh, I found out really fast is Shiva Lingams do not drill well with the Gunther. I was drilling some Shiva Lingams. And uh, I would get like five per burr just because it's so muddy. But I already sold them all as, as pendants. So I think I made like 20 bucks by the time I was done buying bits and stuff. So I'm not going to change the counterpart. It's totally fine uh, since, since we're using a bigger burr. But if you're ever using a smaller one, you do want to change it. Look at this. Hard Lavic, Lavic Agate, Southern California. Very, very tough and very, very hard. Hey, thanks for sending out the link. Also remember in the notes, even if you buy online and you don't call personally, put in the notes that Lapidary Dave sent you right here. One, two, and one, two. Fast and easy. Oh gosh, it's got a piece stuck since I used the wrong size counterpart. There we go. Nice, fast, easy holes with a Gunther multi-drilling system. I believe these are just under $500. I could be wrong. Um, the proprietary bits at 2.5 millimeters are about $44 or something. The smaller ones are obviously cheaper and the larger ones are obviously more expensive, but it is totally worth it. Uh, again, I'm not getting anything from Gunther. They sent me a care package after Sweet Jim did some talking, trying to get us an endorsement deal, which uh, uh, didn't happen, which is totally fine, you know. Maybe in the future we can have like a Lapidary Dave pack where they sell my favorite burrs and they butter my biscuit, but I'm, I'm not worried about that at the moment. Just wanted to share this video for the love of Gunther. Everybody wins. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Get a Gunther. You're going to love it. You can make a living just off of drilling holes. I used to go on Facebook and advertise a hole drilling service. And um, a lady had a sonic drill, and she was she undercutted my price at five dollars a hole. Messaged me asking me if I'd please take over the rest of her commissions because it was taking so long. Sonic drills are more economical because you're not using you're using pieces of steel and silicon carbide to drill. I will be getting one of those soon and we're going to have some fun with that. I do think they're better for beating holes like uh, one millimeter and below, but they take longer. How much longer? An insignificant amount of time, honestly. Hey, Sugar Plum, thank you so much for the love. Sonic drills are a pain and they're a little bit messier, but they're way more economical, if you know what I mean. Like you're going to pay you know, four to five four times or more for the device, but it's going to take a little bit longer. And um, you can blow out your, what is the device that creates the frequency? It doesn't matter. There's, check out Sonic Drilling. It's cool. It might be best for you, but Gunther is definitely best for me and most of my friends. I'm going to get out of here. My phone is dying. Oh, God. 10% battery. Definitely got to split. Love you guys. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're watching after this video aired. And again, please let the fine folks at Gunther America know that Lapidary Dave sent you. I love you guys. Take it easy.